everybody, Alexandre here from Angel Culture Mency and welcome on the weekly Le Normand Oracle Card Reading. So I wanted to try something uh, different this week so we will see how things will go. Uh, like I say, these uh, readings are not only predictions for you, you know, getting to know what is going to happen. It's not only about that. It's also about, you know, receiving guidance that you can use in your, uh, in your week, in your, in your daily, during the, the whole week coming up. And yeah, it's like, you know, an energy forecast. I tell you what can happen. And actually, when you have the information, you can, you know, work on it and change it. And uh, hopefully, you know, create something for your highest good. So I choose to work with the Lenormand. If you know me, I am a very Lenormand person. I've been working with these cards for 23 years. Uh, I had, you know, been teaching uh, classes. I have done workshops. I have done seminars. I have teach you know some um, well known people in Le Normand how to how I work my cards. I do not claim that I have the you know the uh, absolute uh, good way of reading it. I have learned how to read it like everyone I believe from the little booklet in the deck, and I received this deck when I was thirteen. And if you know, also I have a book which has been published by uh, Schiffer Publishing. And I, you know, talk about that in the book. And yes, and I have been working also with clients, you know. Uh, I have choose to make this uh, a, a, a day job, you know, working only for people, you know, teaching them and also giving, giving them advice and, you know, all kind of uh, of things that the cards can tell. And what is great is that Le Normand is uh, a system. It's not a card deck, but it's the system that really, you know, helps you to tap into, uh, into things, you know. It helps you to track where you have been, where you are, where you're going, and giving you a map of possibilities before you. This is what we call the grand tableau, the big picture. And uh, also it has the ability to, you know, to show you your stuck points. And of course, it's not to show you that and, you know, to judge you. It's to show it to you so that you can look fear into the eye, you know, and work to uh, make things happen. It's not, you know, sitting on a table, getting a reading, and then sitting on, on your chair and waiting for the fatality, you know. And my con my concept of receiving a reading, it could be anything, Le Normand Tarot, uh, Oracle Card Reading, Angel Reading, whatever reading system you choose to work with or to get uh, as a read, is you go to, to these intuitive people, to us, to receive information and we tell you things, okay? And when we do predictions, uh, it's not the matter of, you know, I'll tell you that you're going to get married and then you just stop everything that you, you are doing and you just sit in your chair and wait for the wedding to knock on your door. It's not that. It's giving you, you know, the course of event and really help you to create the life that you want. Okay, so maybe, you know, you come to a card reader and it, this person tells you, um, you know, you're not going to marry Bob, you're going to marry John, okay? And you have been with, jo with, with Bob for 10 years now and, you know, and each year you're waiting for him to, you know, to, to marry him and he doesn't, you know, ask you for. And this is where, you know, the cards come and tell you things and, you know, help you. Maybe you want to continue with Bob, but it will give you remedies, it will give you advice on how to, you know, to ignite the flame or to change the relationship so that you get your desired outcome, okay? The thing is, at the end of the day, there is happy ending. And the cards and the divine guidance that you get from them is for that, okay? Don't look at the Lenormand as something spooky and, you know, strange, you know. 
there is this part of spookiness because the deck was, you know, created by someone and the person had given it the name of Mademoiselle Lenormand, who was a famous cartomancer uh, in France, you know, during uh, the Napoleonic era. And she had, you know, a style of living. She was obscure and she, you know, did lots of crazy things. And I think that she, some of things that she does, like, you know, reading the, the organs of animal, for instance, was really, you know, to put a barrier between her and people, you know, making her special, making her, you know, um, like compelling, you know. And the dead has kept, you know, this... Uh, this uh, emotion from people because you know it has been related to a Muslim normal, but she had never created this deck. This the deck appeared, you know, many years after she had passed, and yeah, and all is about how you read it. It's about the reader, the intention that you put in it. Okay, if you wanted to be dark reading, it will be a dark reading. But if you are someone like me, uplifting and want you to propose solutions and actions and guidance to your client, this deck is wonderful. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a weekly reading. Okay, so if you follow my videos on the same channel, I do a lot of French video now, if you can tell. Uh, because I think that, you know, I have invested much in the English speaking community, you know, with my other Le Normand channel, and I have given lots of videos on how to read the Grand Tableau, everything that we need to uh, read the content, or even publish in the book in English, a card deck that I'm going to use in a moment, the Alexander Struck uh, Oracle Cards, the normal Oracle Cards. And so I am you know, more like, you know, forming the French community because they're a little bit late on what I have teach the English side. So this is why there is a lot more French videos. And uh, the English part, I will keep it like, you know, Let's see what the the week, you know, has in store for us. And uh, I will also teach you a technique that you can use with your Le Normand to get the same type of readings, you know, if you want to make a, a YouTube channel. I knew that I had inspired many people to create a YouTube channel. I had been doing videos for the eight, last eight years on card readings. And many people have been inspired by that and create their own channel, create their own groups. And I'm really happy for that because I'm all about inspiration, inspiring people, give them the strength to stand up and tell, I can do that also, okay? There is no competition, okay? We have a place for each and every one of us, okay? I don't want to rip anyone's place and I don't believe that anyone will rip my place, you know? It's not irony, but it's my philosophy. We are all special, okay? So let's start. I have the deck there, and I'm going to shuffle it a little bit just to take a moment and put my intention in there. And we're going to see what the week has in store for you, okay? So when I do weekly readings, I have different method, and I'm going to customize one only for you English people, okay? So no jealous. So we shuffle the cards, intention for this week. We want practical guidance for our highest good. And we will cut the deck, obviously. Okay, and I'm going to turn the pack and look at the last card, you know, the card beneath the pack, okay? So, and this will give me the energy of this week, okay? It's like a resume, what this week is all about. And let me have a little more in-depth, you know, view of it. So what I have here is the child, card number 13, and we have the crossroads, card number 22, okay? So this week is all about, you know, choosing your place, okay? It's all about, you know, you knowing where to go, what choice to you want to make, and also to start things new, a fresh page, okay? And all is a matter of choice. This week, take your power back, okay? So, because it ends with a crossroad and it splits. 
So you really need to decide what you know road you're going to uh, to take, how you're going to go there, and also what possibilities, okay, that you know is offered to you for your best choice. And this is what we are going to look at now. So what we will do is I will find the cards and I'm going to pull three cards that will give us, you know, um, a possibility for you this week. And you can choose, as I'm doing that, one of the three to get, you know, like a, a little extra message. So this is one, two, and three. With the cards, you can't, you know, miss anything you can shuffle it as you want i believe when i created this deck you know i have the thought that the right card will come to you no matter what when if you revolt shuffle if you don't shuffle the right card will always come to you so i'm going to look at all three cards <clears throat> all three cards and you know just to get an an idea and then you know look at it separately. So why I'm smiling <laughs> is that our friend the crossroad has come back in the middle position. And the, the second card, you know, the center card is always my focus card. Some people use the first one, some people use the last one, but I always use the you know the middle card as the anchor card. This is what it's all about. And we get again here the crossroads, okay? The crossroads is about decision again, and really, it's really time for you to make decision in your life. Whether or not you want things to continue in like, in circle, you know, or you want, you know, to break through and be free. We have also the star. The star is direction uh, when, you know, with, with the crossroads, the pointing to the right direction. It's also to be inspired to take a decision. The star is all about inspiration. It's also an invitation to meditate and to pray because with the, with, with the stars, we make a wish. When we see a star uh, falling, we make a wish. And here it's the time for you to decide again what you want to do. On one side, you have the stars, and the other side, you have the mice. The mice is all about this stress, this anxiety, you not feeling well, okay? So, the mice tells you it's time for you to get out of the pack and to get rid of all that is annoying you, all these little things that maybe seems to be usual and common, but that has the talent to irritate you. You really need to look at things in a different perspective and stop let things eat you away. Okay? If you have chose from one of these three cards, the best card to have is the card number one, the star, which is also my my card. And um, this is this is the guidance that the cards are telling you that all is in your hand this week. Okay, you need to break through. You need to uh, break the pattern, break, you know, these kind of, you know, weird things going on, take the decision, okay? And, you know, mice tend to come out in the dark when no one is there, and they, you know, content themselves from little pieces, from little leftover, okay? Spirit is telling you, don't, you know, Wait for the bites. Wait for, wish for the big pieces. This is what this combination is all about. The, the stars and the mice is telling you, you know, wish for big. Okay? Don't compromise. Don't, you know, take the left over. You want the big cake. You don't want the pieces. You don't want the crumbles. You want your part in this, you know, in this whole story. Okay, so hope this video has inspired you and has given you some thoughts and, you know, things to, to work on this week. If you had loved this video, I would really like to hear your thoughts. Okay, don't hesitate to comment. Please subscribe also. I really want to see you English people there involved as the French people are involved with the videos. And my book and deck, these beautiful cards, 
are coming out next month on, on April. Okay, and they are on pre-orders from uh, from Amazon and all the major you know book sites. You can get them around the world, hopefully, and you will see how wonderful and how my technique I teach is a great one. So, wishing you a beautiful week and look forward to talk with you soon.